intro. Does it get any better than that? <laughs> I don't think so. Now, what was I doing today? I've got a few things that I was going to do, and one of them was be able to see properly. Well, it looks like I'm just going to have to do it the hard way. Uh, using my natural eyes. Yes, yes. Ah, all right. So, have we got anyone in here yet? A Liam's here. And that's about it. All right. Oh, that's good. At least one person. Oof, mate, I am, mate, I don't know who he is from Brisbane, but it has been stinking hot the last few days. Uh, Joshua's here too. It has been stinking hot. Like unbelievably just hot and humid. And we just had a massive storm. The temperature went from 34 to 24, and now it's going back up again. And it feels like a sauna out there. Actually, I think it might still be raining a little bit. Ooh, bloody hot. How's everyone? Look, I got a new stubby holder. It says Australia. There's a bit of a funny story about this. You know how... Uh, well, this had a tag on it, and it was in the, like, discount bin at Woolies for two bucks. I thought, two bucks for a stubby holder? Mate, I can, even I can afford that. And uh, so, of course, I went through the checkout, and it comes up three bucks. <laughs> and me being Mr. Budget, and I said to the calls the assistant over, excuse me. And I said, this is supposed to be $2, not $3. Oh, we'll go and do a price check. Price check on the Aussie stubby holder. Anyway, she, some guy runs off with it, comes back and says, oh, yeah, it's supposed to be 2 bucks." She goes, how about I just give it to you for free? I was like, that'd be real Aussie. Very patriotic, I said. So I got a free stubby holder. Wish I got two of them now. There were a few there, and I was like, oh, which one will I get? The one with the kangaroo with Australia, or the one with a soccer ball, a volleyball, is it? A shuttlecock? A tennis ball, a cricket player, an American football, snorkels and a tennis racket, and a skateboard. And, uh, well, another shuttlecock. Well, they think we... Shuttlecock champions or something, whoever made these. <laughs> well, it sounds more like China, and well, if you go outside, it's pretty much what it is nowadays, Australia. So that's good. But the American football, I don't get that. Um, yes, very, uh, very un-Australian. Well, I mean, I guess it is Australia now, isn't it? Australia has uh, changed for the better. And uh, look what else I got. An Aussie flag. It was one dollar. I don't think I've ever owned an Aussie flag. And for one dollar, I couldn't pass it up. I haven't taken it. That was my glasses I just ran over. Anyway. Whoa. Look at that. It's like full size. For one dollar. It's the best one back I think I've ever spent. This will trigger the greenies. Yeah, I should put it hanging up in the background somewhere to trigger the uh, the people who hate themselves. Yes, that could be fun. 
Trigger the haters. Oh yeah. Oh, how's that? Wish I had my glasses. Uh, I'm very well, thank you. Hey, Rob. Hey, everyone. Chris, Mr. Manitoba. Uh, anyway, I just went, took Rollo for a walk. It is like a sauna out there, and I was sweating bullets. Even though it's still 20 something degrees, there's another. There's still showers coming along the way. At the moment, it says it's. Uh, well, it was 24. It's going back up to 26, and it's supposed to be a minimum of 25 tonight. But cooler tomorrow, 27. So that'll be good. But at the moment it's 26, it feels like 36. Whew. Although I've got the air conditioner running, so it's uh, it's a lot cooler. I've got, a, I've got the air conditioner set to 27. And it's uh, 24 degrees in here. So that's good. Well, plus I've got to go and cook dinner later too, so. Just another curry. I'll be doing that. I wonder where my glasses are. I must have taken them off to do something. Anyway, cheers. <sighs> ah. ah, beautiful. The backdrop looks good, do you reckon? I look sweaty. Well, I am very sweaty. Just like a hard working daddy. <laughs> I'll drink out of self. Yeah, well, Brent. Feels like minus 34 where you are. Goodness. Tron 2024 is confirmed. Why is he even bothering? I'll just rig the election again. I reckon the DeSantis should have gone. Because uh, they don't want him. They don't want him and he'd be better off just sitting it out than letting someone else do it. Uh, 15 degrees in near Melbourne. Jeez. Laura's here. Oh, you know what I did today? I thought, oh, I'll clear my um, cache or whatever it is. I'll clear my cookies. <laughs> Stupidest thing I've ever done. Because I've spent the last, like, two hours trying to remember passwords, trying to sign into all my YouTube channels, Trying to sign into my emails and my PayPal's and my every Spotify and whatever else I've got. Oh, what a pain in the ass. I'm sure that flag was made uh, where this stubby holder was made. Um in uh, West Taiwan. West Taiwan, yeah. West Taiwan. Oh. Favourite metal albums? Well, if I go to my Spotify, uh, I'm not really into metal. I'm not a huge metal fan, but I do like... The only metal band I really listen to is um, Megadeth. I think Countdown to Extinction, Extinction was uh, one of the ones that I used to listen to all the time. I still listen to it, but I'm not a big, big metal person.
You agree, Laura. Yes, yes. Oh, now, what else was I? Well, I've got to go downstairs and cook dinner later. Uh, it is very hot outside. It's steamy. It, feel, it feels like Malaysia when you go to Malaysia or somewhere where it's just fucking hot and steamy and just, yeah, feels hot. That's why I'm having a nice, refreshing, what's this video called? Rehydration. Cheers. Ah. How Brian, I'm sure he's doing very well. Oh, I'm sweaty. Uh, you just serviced your you today, snapped up a wheel stud and got the shits. Snapped, oh, snapped a wheel stud. How do you snap a wheel stud? Is that the thing where you screw your tire onto? With like a wing, one of those nuts, like one of those things. It's all right, there's five of them, isn't there? It's all right if one's missing, surely. Although I'm sure you do have to change it. I hope it grows back. <laughs> 20 degrees in New South Wales. Uh, yeah, it is. 16 degrees in Melbourne. Why do you, it doesn't even get that cold in winter. 20 in Sydney. It's 26 here, but it feels bloody much hotter. Perth, 32. Adelaide's 20. Hobart, 15. Canberra, 16. God, it's so cold. Down south. Oh. Do I miss doing daily vlogs? Well, I didn't even do daily vlogs, did I? I tried doing it and there's no way that I miss it because that was a lot of work for nearly no reward. I do have air conditioning on at the moment, set to 27 degrees. So it's actually warmer inside than it is outside. Although I've got, there's no humidity coming in. So it's a, it's a dry 27 and compared to outside and plus on it's sweaty from walking the dog. So it's, it actually feels a lot cooler. Well, yeah, the temperature on my gauge here, it says it's 24 degrees in this room. So we got to set to 27. Who knows? It feels very nice though. What state would I visit with that to those temperatures? Well, I'd stay right here. Uh, no praying for rain today. Uh, some really good storms came over though. Man, there was one, it was, I think it dumped um, over an inch of rain in, I think it rained, I think it rained for like, like stormed for half an hour. It just pissed down rain. Thunder, lightning, Rollo was up here because he's scared of thunderstorms. So he runs up here and like sits right next to me. Poor little thing. It is very steamy. We got a lot of that storm today. It was beautiful. Oh, last night was really hot. I think it was a minimum of 26 degrees or something. It was humid. But I slept. It's the first time I've slept all the way through. So that was great. I woke up at 10 to 6, though, you know, I wake up early, but I go to bed at, say, 10 o'clock, so it's nearly eight hours sleep. But I slept all the way through and woke up feeling magnificent. Oh, yeah. Easter holidays or spring holidays? I can't wait. My life is one big holiday, so it's all the same to me. The same. Oh, dinner, that's right. I've got to go and make it. What time is it? Five? Bloody hell. 
Better get down and start cooking. Oh, fuck. I keep banging stuff. Got the aircon on downstairs, too. Oh, there's my glasses. Might be able to see with those on. Watch you sleep on it. All right, I'm gonna go and cook some dinner now. So, uh... hey, yeah, bye. Oh, geez. Uh, so the ingredients I've got today, well, f for this so far is, uh, well, I just got to cut some things up. So I've got well, I'm making a curry, so I've got some Malaysian. Palm sugar, you know the one, you've seen this before. So I'll cut a nice chunk of that. Oh, won't you sleep on it you don't know when the morning comes? Will you ever leave me where you're down 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 and make me a wife? Oh, I've got a um, a kaffir lime leaf here, straight off the tree. So really. And I've got the chicken here, which I'll cut last, so I can use this cutting board. And uh, your hunger's increasing, so lime leaf, sugar. Um, I've got, it's a green curry today, so whenever I use, I only use half a jar, but I always freeze it afterwards. So I've just got, it's defrosted now, but that's green curry and some coconut cream, and I've got some other things on there as well. Oh boy, that smells so nice. Have a sniff. Mmm. Yes. Okay. Get that cranking. Dun 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 You made the pressure cooker carbonara, carbonara and it's amazing. Literally such a great recipe. Ah, good on me. And good on you for doing it. Good oil, I think. Not motor oil though. I do love a curry. Gee, what's up with that? Gas is sounding a bit. Maybe oh, I think the. Li I'm not sure if that's on properly. Where's my. Ah, that's better. Oh, shit. 
I don't even know right now. It's a little bit more than half, so it's going to be pretty spicy, this. Good on you, Chloe. Ah, oh, Wayne Coles! Well, I went to Coles. Actually, I went to Woolies today. Sorry, Wayne. I usually go to Coles when I need some uh, tonic water. I might use this new one that Melissa bought. Thanks, Wayne. You're addicted to the salty caramel ice cream from Dolls. Oh. I'll have to, um, what to have? I'll have to, um, I'll have to, what's it called? Try some. Look at that green curry. You gotta let it. Gotta let the flavors do their thing. You gotta let all of this. Uh, you gotta let. Why is that? You gotta let all of the spray come up and spray the back wall here and all over here. I think I'll turn that down. Oh God, what have I done? Just put stuff all over the floor. Gee, that smells so nice. Mmm, I could just drink that, I reckon. Maybe with some vodka. What do you reckon? Look at that. Mmm, delicious. Now that's got to heat up and I'll add the sugar and the uh, bits of lime. Fish sauce in there. That fish sauce goes from the fridge to the cupboard. Bit of fish sauce. So I've got the 
curry, uh, I've got the curry, the coconut, the fish sauce, the sugar, the lime juice. And now I just need to cut the chicken up. Might turn the heat up a bit, it's getting a... So it does its thing a bit better. Right. Time to cut some chook. Hopefully it's defrosted. Well, there's a few bits of fat here. I'm sure old Rollo will like that. It's quite a big breast, isn't it? That's what she said. It's more like a turkey. God, I hate cutting chicken. It's just gross. And to think I come from a line of butchers. My grandparents used to be butchers. One of them. Their parents were butchers. Well, one of them. And now here's old Grego. At least I'm not a vegan. That'd be like the worst possible thing. That the grandson of a butcher could ever be. for our Ronsy. All right. Before I go any further, will you love me? Shivered it. It's boiling. It's boiling. It's alright, I'll stop boiling when I shut the chicken in. Oh no, it went on the wall! Crikey! Oh, Matt Coles! Thanks, Matt Coles. I wonder if you and Wayne are related. I've got a feeling you are. Well, thanks for your super chat. That'll have paid for the chicken. Now, is there anything else I need to put in? Curry. Oh, shit! Curry, uh, coconut cream, fish sauce, sugar, lime juice, and these little bits of uh, the leaf off the lime tree that we've got. I'm pretty sure that's it. And then the chicken. There we go. Now I've just got to let this simmer until I'm ready to eat it. Which is going to be a couple of hours. I did put some water in the um, coconut cream thing. How's that? That's how easy these curries are. They're so easy, man. Oh, they taste so good. Put the lid on. It's bloody run down the back wall. Ah, oh, shivers! Before it solidifies, I'll just wipe it down. Wonderful. Ah, 
Ah, you're watching on the big TV. How's this look on the big TV? G'day! How's it going? So there we go, that's dinner. That's dinner cooked. All I gotta do is get some rice later and cook that. But well, that's, I should probably center this. And uh, I'll turn the heat right to low. And I'll also, where is this? I'll give this a wipe down. I like just to clean as I go. You know, it's a bit hard to do it one handed. There's a bit of last night's dinner still there. So much for cleaning as I went. What did we even eat last night? Um, what we have? Oh, we had leftover. We had leftover. Uh, what's it called? Leftover lasagna. That's right. Leftover lasagna and veggies. Oh, domestic Greg. Hey, pussy. Hey, we'll go and say good day to Rollo. See how he's going. Oh, Natasha. Hey, Natasha. Love you, Greg. You're always a bright spot in my life. Thank you, dear. Wish you all the best. Oh, Natasha, you're so sweet. How cold is it where you are at the moment, Natasha? I know Mr. Manitoba says it's like minus 34 outside here. I'm standing under the air conditioner vent here. So it's uh, 20 something degrees. Whew. Yeah. But here's Rollo. Hey Rollo. How was that walk we went on today? Was it all rainy? Was it all rainy and wet and you did a big poo against the fence? It's so funny, Rollo, like when he does a poo, he backs up against the fence or backs up to trees or something and then he just does these big turns and today's turd he did went through the, um, went through into somebody's yard through the fence. I couldn't pick that up, could I, Rollo? No, good boy, Rollo. Good boy for pooing somewhere where I didn't have to pick it up. Ah, oh, yeah. I look happy, yeah, because I'm not making YouTube videos. <laughs> Living the dream at the moment. Having some time off. Don't know where to look, do you? Hey? Don't know where to look. Hey, I got some. No. No. Hey, I've got something for you, Rollo. I know it's not much, but. You don't take much to be satisfied nowadays. You get pretty, you're easily pleased. So I've got here some chicken. Yeah, I'll put it down there for you. Well, that's it. I've got chicken fat on my fingers. Uh, look at that. Look at that. I just rubbed his nose. Look how much hair comes off. God. That's a problem with beagles. They molt. So if you don't want a molting dog, don't get a beagle.
Uh, this is, well, uh, we've got so many plants, so I'm like, don't know where to put them. And then out here, uh, we've got uh, some more plants here and uh, some hibiscus. Let's see what temperature it is out here. Uh, oh. Where's, oh, there, well, it says it's 26, and that's, which is what it, they reckon it is, 26 degrees. But it feels much hotter than that. Here's the bat plant. Apparently it had a flower the other day. Oh, is that a new flower? Is that a new leaf? But that's the bat plant. They got an amazing flower on them. But, uh, yeah, all the tropical plants, well, ferns and stuff. Looking, uh, it's, it's very messy. Like, all the plants are in pots still, so. Uh, there's an orchid up there. It's got a little flower on it. Oh, there's an orchid over here with a flower on it, too. pretty old though and then down the side of the house it's just jungle the barbie who's that Rollo? did you sketch him did you sketch him Rollo? god i hope you sketched him hey Kitchen. You gonna come in? No, no, no more chicken. All right. Let me wash my hands because, well, I mean, rubbing the dog and holding chicken. this off too. What you on in? Baby, baby, what you sleep on in? Oh no! Water went all over the fucking floor. God, shits me when that happens. You're not throwing up, are you, Rollo? God, I hope not. Oh no! Oh no, all this chicken juice. There was heaps of chicken juice like on this plate and when I picked it up it all went well, I think it's fell off onto my clean washing. Oh, sake. God. Don't shit shits me. Bloody chicken juice. Let me rinse that off. Oh, no! Honestly, I'm such a fucking idiot sometimes. Um, thanks to uh, Roz Carls, was it? Roz Carls, thanks very much for your super chat, Roz. That Coles family, mate. Good on them. Um, oh, Dan's here. Okay, Dan. Why well, are you happy to watch a, watch a man wash dishes? Yeah, well, you know what I did? So I'm, 
this spoon thing here sitting there, and I, I think the the chicken juice went over here, so I poured it here. It hit this, shot up, and now it's gone all over here. Honestly, if my head wasn't screwed on. I wouldn't know what to do. That's a cool plate, isn't it? A puffer fish. Hmm. Right. There's a little piggy. Hey, piggy. Little piggy timer. There's a bit of moonshine. this curry going? Is it still on? The... Yep, yep, gas is still on, thank God. Oh gee, it's bubbling away. Mmm, smells good. Let's meet him at the front. Oh, he's already gone, Rollo. See, the problem is Rollo sits here, sees a dog walk past, and then has to run right around the back of the house to get out the front. Come on, Rollo. Yes. Oh, look, the sun's out. Well, sort of. It's very steamy. Bloody hell. Come on, Roma. Yeah, good boy. Did you skitch him? Did you skitch him, Rollo? Yeah, you skitched him, didn't you? Good boy. Good boy. Down. Sit. Sit. Oh, you're such a good boy. I suppose you want a treat now, don't you? I haven't, I haven't played Scatter in a while with you, have I? Maybe we should play a game of Scatter. Do you want to play Scatter, Rollo? Do you want to play Scatter? Come on, Rollo. Let's play Scatter. All right. Let me just check this curry first. Right, right. Yes. Okay. Seems to be cooking. Okay, Rollo, come on. Come on. Let's go in here. That's the wrong light. Don't think you're a black dog. I'm sure you'll like him. Okay. I'm sure you're gonna like these, right? I'm sure. Stand up. Okay, Rollo, around. Oh, you're such a good boy. 
It's over there. It's behind you. It's on the floor behind you. That's it. Come here. Sit. Down. Sit. Oh. Good boy. Such a good boy. Sit. Oh. Okay. Go away. Okay. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Good boy. Come in. Good boy, Rollo. <laughs> Catch. Oh. Good boy, Rollo. That's all. These smell like licorice, these things. Chicken. Chicken meatballs. Well, they smell like licorice, don't they, Roll? That's all you get. Bloody hell, it's hot in here. Whew. I don't know if you... I'm just, I'm just sweating bullets. It's so hot. Let's get back in the air conditioner, Rollo. Here, let me turn the light off because I like saving electricity. Oh. All right, so that car is on. Steaming away. And what I'm going to do now is I'll just turn it off because it's not going to... I'm not going to eat it for probably another hour and a, or two, so they can just sit there and now I can turn it on later. But what I, it is looking very liquidy, so I'll get the lid off and drain any excess liquids off. That's what I like to do. It's looking too liquidy. But I do, uh, green curry is good for a soup anyway. It's a nice soupy sort of um, meal. Now, oh, I've got those lights on. I'll turn some lights off to save electricity. And Well, I'll just stay here actually, because I'm nearly finished this beer. And... Oh, I'm so sweaty. Man, it is so hot. Oh, I'm just dripping sweat. Which I know some of you would really love. Um, thanks to uh, Natasha. Oh, Natasha, thanks very much, Natasha. You're so sweet and so kind. It's not much, but it can go towards Rollo Treat Fund. Love you both. Oh, Natasha. Okinawi's board shorts. Uh, these ones here. These ones are from Kmart. Pretty cool, huh? Four bucks. Uh, they were ten dollars, but whenever you go to Kmart, you always... What I like to do is I just go through, like, all of them. Your size, of course. You need to select whatever size you are. But you uh, go through them all, because some of them always have... Some of them have a tag on, like, four dollars or five dollars or something. So that's what I always do. If I go to Kmart, I run through the clothes, pick something I like, run through and look for the tag on it that might say 10 and then they put one of those yellow stickers over the top that might say 5 and then I'll buy that. So. And then if I, they don't have a sticker on it, then I don't buy it. It's pretty simple. Oh my god, my back is just dripping sweat. Oh, that's right, I was going to stay here and drink a beer. So yeah, see your shorts. Uh, thanks very much, Natasha. You're very sweet. And the Coles's. Dripping in masculinity. You had a pair of Kmart shorts 20 years ago. I bet you still wear them. Whew.
Oh. I wonder if I got the um, my other beer that I like. I normally keep one hidden somewhere. Ah. You know, I went to the shops the other day. The only milk they had left was this Mulaney one that cost nearly five bucks. <laughs> So that's $4.85 for this Mulaney milk. And there was no other milk in the whole shops. Pretty weird, huh? Weird times. Now we know what uh, Russia was like back in the 70s and 80s. Won't you sleep on it to know until the morning comes? Dun, 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 dun. Forever, forever, will you love me forever? Will you love me? Ah. Will you love me forever? I wonder how, if you're a really good singer, if you can get a copyright strike. I got my copyright thing the other day for playing uh, meat, uh, Meatloaf. Oh. Gee, lucky I walked upstairs. Um... At least the sun's just turned up. I didn't realise. Didn't know he was coming over. Oh, oh look what I've got. My teddy bear. My old teddy bear from when I was um, like three or four years old. I used to have this teddy bear. He didn't used to have clothes. Uh, someone's made him some clothes, but uh... yeah, my old teddy. Can you imagine me when I was like four or five years old cuddling my teddy? Hey, Lincoln. So yeah, so he's like 50 years old, this teddy. It's pretty cool, huh? A bit worn out. The hands are wearing out a little bit. And... But yeah, my Cute little, I won't hug him because I'm all sweaty. You can sit there and just watch me work. He's always watching me work. Causing, he's there causing trouble. He's always causing trouble. God, he gets me into trouble too. Like, sometimes I might, you know, have a beer too many and then, um, you know, someone yells at me, and uh, I just blame Teddy. <sighs> Do I like Spotify cancelling Neil Young? Yeah, what an idiot. Why would you cancel yourself? What a dickhead. An absolute... I've never heard anything so stupid. And then there's more people saying, you better cancel him or I'll take my music off. It's like, okay, you want to lose out on, um, what, 10,000 bucks a month? <laughs> well, good for you. I never realised they made so much money, those guys. Bloody hell, took it about taking them, making heaps of tons of coin. He's probably making more coin now than he did back in the 70s, and he's said goodbye to it all. What a fucking idiot. God, these people are idiots. Mulaney's your go-to milk, even if it costs more. Yes, 100% uh, Aussie-owned, and uh, that's why I like my Mulaney milk too. Mulaney. A very trendy place. Um... Up, it's out the back of Noosa, sort of. Very trendy. It's a mountainous, very lush and green, rainforesty. 
All the rainforests were cut down so they could uh, have cows there. So they cut down the rainforest for cows and now they make Mulaney milk from it. Rainforest milk. Oh, it looks like there could be a sunset later. Oh, we'll see. Oh, bloody hell. The Teddy's got mange. Oh, no. Oh. My gay woke accent. Yeah, I always do that. My woke accent. Oh, I can't do it now. I need something to say to do it. Chopper Giro. Ah. The Grego phone, it's in the drawer, but it is retired. I need to get a new, um, I need to get a new uh, SIM card for it. <sighs> Beggars bought all the dairies. Ah, I don't buy Beggar. Um, I can hear I can hear Finn downstairs. Did anyone watch Married at First Sight last night or the last few nights? <sighs> oh God! Did you see that blonde bird? God, that's not how you use a fork. <sighs> God, and I really like how that guy's handling her. Just like, not I. You have to apologize. No, not apologising. So good for him. He's doing it all right. Cheers. Who's this? Ah, uh, just a robber. Oh, okay. <laughs> How you going, Andre? Good, thanks. I'm just here because I'm getting my car service tomorrow, so I just use the garage to clean it. Oh, okay. Oh, so nice. are you doing a live stream? I'm doing a live stream. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm sure you wouldn't want to be seen on it. Ah, uh, not right now. <laughs> no. Maybe later. Maybe, Maybe later. Like nice enough today. <laughs> Always looks amazing. <laughs> Cleaning his car out. Okay. Oh. Uh, that's uh, Melissa's son. Um, he's um, he's going to. Uh, University of Queensland next year, uh, this year actually. Good for him. Uh, Travis Poynton. Oh, I tell you what, walking up those stairs, I've, I've got uh, a bit of heart damage from those um, vaccines. Oof. But uh, Travis Poynton, thanks very much for your super chat, Travis. Hi, Greg, can you have a beer for me, please? I'm picking up milk in South Gippsland. No worries, Travis. Look, I'll just finish one, this one for me. And this one here can be for you. Cheers. You can see my tan. What tan? I don't have a tan. Uh, B, what's BL Teamer? Yeah, this is uh, one of my, my fans sent me, um, I don't know what it means. Uh, one of my fans sent me uh, three t-shirts and a pair of shorts. And it's his BLT brand. And because it's hot, um, you know, it's my pyjamas sometimes. <laughs> 
And I had my other shirt on for a pyjama last night, but this one I wore yesterday, and I like to get two wears out of most of my clothes. Unless I'm really sweating my balls off. But it's very hot. So, uh, good time to wear it. Uh, yeah, BLT, if you look up, I wonder if BLT's got a website. Like BLT clothes. Yeah. Yeah, they do. BLT clothing, red bubble. Yeah, I don't know uh, if they're making any money, I doubt it. Well, I know I don't. I might sell one t shirt every. <sighs> one a month or something, maybe two a month. I know some other. People, they'll send like, they'll sell like 10,000 t-shirts a month. <laughs> it means they're probably making, what's that, ten a hundred thousand dollars a month just in t-shirt sales. You know, if you ever want to look at a successful YouTuber, don't look at me. I am effing hopeless. Big long testicles. Yeah, yeah, it could be that. Buy less trans. Oh, it could be that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, but Travis, I'll uh, definitely have a beer for you. No worries. Oh, what's this? Another super chat just whipped in. Uh, thanks very much, Lincoln Kane. Get on, you Lincoln, over there in Perth. Uh, Mr. Fashion. Uh, Lincoln and his uh, truck. He's got a big truck business over there in Western Australia. And uh, sells trucks to the Americans. That's how good he is. He also sells snow to Eskimos. Uh, for the beer fund, fund bro, and null care one two for mod hype well i can't do null care one two for mike be, for mod because one i've never seen them before and two i don't know who it is and three well he's got to earn a mod he just doesn't get one but uh, thank you very much. For the beer fund. Oh, I'll tell you what, my beer, my beer situation is getting low. I'm down to my last, like, 15. Oh, no, I've got six. Plus six in the fridge. Twelve. So I've only got, like, two hours worth of beers left. Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, God. Bring le tequila. Yeah, well, that could be bring le, le tequila. I'm Greg Rogan. <laughs> Noel Carey. I don't know who Noel Carey is, mate. You can vouch for him. He's a big deal. Right, well, let me see how big of a deal he is. Right, copy. I'll go up here. Paste, nuclear, nuclear one, two, right, on YouTube, about press copyright contract, us advertisers, development teams, privacy and safety. Is that him? He's got two subscribers, doggo not amused. And he's got a doggy. Looks like a German Shepherd or something. Yeah, mate. I don't just hand out Spanish to anyone. Have you even got one? I don't even think I've given you. Oh, yes, I gave you one. Took you a while, though. We are everywhere. 
Uh, Natasha, wow, Natasha, thank you so much. <laughs> You're so generous. Don't say you are hopeless. You gave me hope when I had none. You are not hopeless. You give me hope. God, what the fuck is he doing down there? I hope he's not breaking stuff. I hope he's not using that good vacuum cleaner. It costs a thousand dollars for a vacuum cleaner. I didn't buy it. Thank God. I hope he's not using it. But thanks, Natasha. Tash, throwing out the dollars. To our beer hut. Best little town. Brisbane, best little town. Yeah, that could be it. He's eating my... He better not be eating that curry. You got the Sierra brand tequila. It tastes better than some. Um, yeah, I think Sierra's all right for a tequila. I know I've had plenty of tequilas before and they... Some of them are the most expensive ones. Uh, generally aren't as good, so. But uh, thanks, Travis Poynton, again. Uh, I will have that beer and uh, Lincoln Kane. I can put it towards a beer fund, but I can't add a mod who's only just showed up for the first time here today. A Boeing 737 is going to be flying over our house shortly, coming from Mackay. Yeah. Well, I was sort of hoping, I wonder if you can get flight radar on your, um, if, can you get it? Oh my God, you can get it on your desktop. Oh, yes. Is there any international planes coming? Uh, there's a Darwin to Brisbane coming. And there's a... Uh, oh, the Mackay to Brisbane. Well, they're all following the same flight path. Type in Brisbane. Well, I think it just used uh, my... Uh, thingamy. Is that an international? Those are Qantas. Melbourne to Brisbane. Sydney to Brisbane. I like looking for those really big planes. Where's the big... Oh, there's a big one. Oh, that's Auckland to Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, normally... Uh, if there's an Auckland to uh, Indonesia, it flies right over Brisbane but it's at 30, uh, 40,000 feet and all you do is see contrails. You just see this, it's so high up and it's just contrails. It's like, ah. A Brisbane to Perth, is there any? It's funny, there's, when, when you look at the flight radar, you look at Western Australia and it's just like planes going up and down. Uh, it, and anything else, oh, there's a Dubai to Brisbane coming in from the Emirates. Uh, that's going to fly over Perth soon. But besides that, oh, there's a Thai Airways, Bangkok to Sydney. Yeah, it's all just domestic travel in uh, Perth, which is pretty funny. Right, well, that was a... Bit of boring um, chatting, wasn't it? Australia open again to the world. Yeah, it looks like it. I wonder who's going to come here, though. The 565 bus to Green Slopes is passing. <laughs> I 
Ja, oh, det är så. You wanted to visit Perth. Yeah, well. I don't think it's going to happen for a while, is it? Oh, that's right. The road trip to Alice Springs. Weren't we going to go on a road trip to Darwin at some stage? Yeah, all the international students are coming back in. Well, wouldn't they? Oh, no, I think if it's from India, there's no, like, direct from India to Australia flights. They're also usually from India to Singapore or India to Kuala Lumpur or somewhere like that, and then down to Brisbane. So we'll start getting all the Indian uh, students coming back. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting, the Indian students uh, scenario. I think what they do is they, like, their parents save as much money as they can to send their kids to uni uh, overseas, and then when they're here, then they can try and get um, citizenship. So this, the, the... The young son will get your citizenship and then try and get the family out. That's how that works. I've spoken to heaps of you know, Indians that work here, and you know they're usually they're usually doing the washing the cars or something, and they're all students. And uh, yeah, I've spoken to heaps of them. That's what they always tell me. Oh, Natasha. <sighs> will make him famous. <laughs> Nothing could make me famous. Nothing. Oh, except maybe that time when I was on uh, National Geographic. Uh, but even then, yeah, not good enough. Yeah, I've been on the news, current affair, morning show, still not famous. So I doubt, I doubt I'll I don't want to be famous anyway. I'd rather be rich than famous. A virgin what fly from Darwin's Landing. No, I'll turn my thing off. <sighs> West Australia has made it illegal for alcohol establishments to allow entry if not vaccinated. Pubs and takeaways, so dance, etc. Yeah, well, that's what that's what it is um, in Brisbane, and I think everywhere else as well. It's uh, you got to be vaccinated to go and eat in restaurants and stuff, which is why I'm not going to restaurants at the moment because I'm not showing someone uh, my health records. They can get fucked. I'm not going to show people my health records. I mean, how stupid. It's for one, it's against the law, and the government to say this is against the law, but um, you're gonna have to do it. It's like, no, no, no I feel really sorry for people that own restaurants and stuff like that because they're the ones getting shafted by the government. But uh, yeah, just I'll just eat at home and I will um, drink at home. Much cheaper anyway. I mean, you get, what, four beers for the price of one, pretty much. The booster? There's no way I'm getting that booster. No way. What a waste of time. Plus, I've already had COVID, so why would I need to get a booster? I, uh, I've got nature's booster. A man-made disease. Yeah. Ah. All right. Now, uh, Travis. He's picking up milk in South Gippsland. I bet they've got some bloody good milk there in South Gippsland. Um. This one's for you. 
Cheers. Ah. Uh, oh, Travis. Oh, I mean, Rollo, was that you? Bloody Rollo, he's always burping. Shitting and farting. God, he's annoying. You still haven't got stabbed? Yeah, I wouldn't bother getting it now. You're, you're fit and healthy. You'll be right if you catch it. See you, Natasha. Yes, I mean, Western Australia is crazy just staying closed because they're going to have to open up at some, some stage and then it's it's just going to run right through there. So they're just... They're just prolonging the inevitable. It's gonna, it's just, they're just prolonging the inevitable. Which is what, and, and that's the thing I'm sort of pissed off about too, you know, for two years we were imprisoned and then um, they just say, okay, we're gonna open up. And now, you know, 15, 20 people a day are dying from it. And if they'd opened up 20, if they'd opened up two years ago, 15 or 20 people a day would have been dying from it. So it's like no difference. Except two years later and people's lives have been destroyed. Fucking idiots, mate. God, I hate politicians. I understand why they did it. But they're stupid. And maybe the original uh, COVID might have been um, a little bit harsher or whatever, and this is a better one. So, well, you know, I, I can I can appreciate it. I can appreciate it, but that doesn't take away from the fact that politicians are dumbasses. Too hot to go to Darwin? Never too hot, mate. You can go, actually, now's the best time to go to Darwin. You can go sting, uh, swimming with the stingers. Yeah. The stingers, you, 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 grant, you, you, the, you, something jellyfish. The box jellyfish and you, the Urangi jellyfish, they're all out. Um, You'll be dead in three minutes, but hey, the most pain, probably one of the most painful ways to go, except getting your face bitten off by a um, orangutan. I uh, heard that's pretty hard. That's a pretty rough one. Straight vodka goes down hard with no chaser. Well, I hope you're not necking it from the bottle, Natasha. Uh, you call me your job's bluff. They said you'd lose your job. When the day came, I never got it, and the government guidelines were testing three times a week. You searched the internet and bought 100 tests. Uh, I think I've got one uh, rapid test left. I think we got two. My mum gave me, like for Christmas, one of my presents was some rapid antigen tests. <laughs> Here's some rapid antigen tests. It's like, ah, oh, good. And they, like, five days later, they came in handy because we were sick and we tested positive. Good on you, Mum. Well, well thought out. Very well done. Cheers. Yeah, politicians, they've just got to cover their asses. That's why you always keep hearing them just dribble the same crap. Because they've got to cover their ass. Because if something happens and they say, well, you didn't do this, oh, but it doesn't matter because they never get in trouble, even when they screw up. They still, like, don't get in trouble for anything, do they? Bastards. Wish they could be held accountable. 
I saw old ScoMo copping it uh, yesterday in the in the thing in the press club. Why would you bother going to the press club, mate? Just get drilled by a bunch of half wit. Uh, what do they call them? It's the those things that those people that are much worse than politicians. What do they call them? Journalists. Yeah, that's right. Some half wit journalists. God, I hate journalists. It's a toss-up for me. What's worse, a journalist or a politician? Hmm. It could be a tie for... It could be... It could be a tie. They're both fishers on an arsehole, aren't they? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, the people in Western Australia, they love being COVID-free and blinded by the fact that they're trapped. Most people in Western Australia wouldn't even probably travel half the time. I mean, most people anywhere don't travel. And the fact that... Uh, like, when Queensland was locked down for that whole time and we were COVID-free pretty much the whole time during the whole thing, mate, it was good. It's all out our freedoms, our lives. The only problem is that Queensland is, like Brisbane's right next to New, the New South Wales border. So, and people like South East Queensland, Northern New South Wales, there's like five or six million people and they've got to travel in, in between. There's people crossing the border all the time and it was just a pain in the ass. And there's friends I haven't seen for like uh, a year. But now the border's open. Should have just had it open the whole time. Ah, but yeah, Western Australia, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna have to open up some stage, and when they do, people are gonna start dropping. So do you do it now or later? Might as well do it now. Just get it out of the way. Real estate agents are the worst. No way. No. At least I do a job. <laughs> You're a new fee. That's a new found in found land. Right, enough politics, mate. Enough talking about COVID and politics. Sick of it. I'm sitting here, I've got the Aussie flag triggering some greenies. I've got a beer here triggering someone. I just like triggering people. You don't watch the news, propaganda and lies? Exactly. Actually, I watched that Channel 9. I was watching um, Married at First Sight and they had a Channel 9 ad saying, Real news. And it's like, well, no, it's not, because you don't cover anything. You're not covering the um, trucks, uh, the big truck protests that are running throughout the world. No one covers any of this stuff. They never covered uh, any other protests. No, stuff them. Newfoundland born and bred. Ooh, yeah. Your rent's going up. Oh, no. Lucky to have a home on the Gold Coast. <laughs> oh, Lacey, it's so funny you still think you live on the Gold Coast. Ah. <laughs> oh, the truck protests. Oh, God. That should make it a little bit warmer in here. It's starting to get quite dark. What's going on outside? What if it starts, stopped raining it? Let's go outside and have a look. Um, da -da 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 -da. 
I was having a look at the possum this morning and see how warm it is out here. Yeah, it's, oh, it's not too bad. Oh, the spiders. They're doing uh, their thing. Uh, very overcast. Uh, of course, it's been raining. It's very stormy. I think the storms might have passed, but there's still some showers uh, coming over. Let's have a look at the possum. See if we can see the possum. He's built this nest in here. You used to be able to see inside, but he's built this nest and it's covered up all the holes. I don't know if you can see anything down there. Oh my god. Anyway, we've got our spiders here. They seem to have moved a little bit. I tried feeding a fly to uh, this one. I tried feeding a fly to that one today, but it didn't eat it. It was sitting in the nest and it flew out. We've got the other one there. He was sitting up he was sitting up here on the web before for some reason. Now he's gone back to his place. <sighs> the old spiders. Spider cam. I was thinking about doing, doing, setting up a, um, my camera like that and just doing, having like, wherever the spiders are. Got one there and one there. Just having it sit there. Spider cam. bit too pixelated which is a bit funny because it shouldn't be pixelated I thought it was my good camera on the back although it is zoomed in oh shit what's happened Done. Look at these stupid. What the fuck's happened? On my uh, sorry, on my screen, I've touched something, and I don't know how I've done it, but I'm trying to get it back to. Oh, there it goes. Well, that's interesting. So I could turn it black and white if I want to. Or I can pop it. What if I can turn it tripping? Mate, I didn't know that. Eight millimeters, so that's penis length. What about this one? Ooh. Interesting. Pop seems all right. Um, Natasha, are you on the vodkas again, Natasha? Good on you. Any advice, uh, uh, Natasha? Any advice on how to deal with someone who wants to see you homeless? Well, I'd tell them to get fucked for starters, and then I'd say, suck on these ones, uh, you disgusting piece of shit. I'd uh, hurl abuse at them. Or would I? Yeah, I probably would. 
You don't take shit from people, Natasha. Uh, he's probably a narcissist, and um, so what you would do is what narcissists fear is someone standing up to them. So uh, you stand up to them and they run away, scared with their tails between their legs. And then while they're running away, you say, keep running, you fucking asshole. Yeah. Time to get effed. Most people don't do it often enough, I don't think. But I tell people to get effed. Have you seen those planes? I've been watching some videos lately and they got these planes now that... You know those fans, right? There's those fans with no blades. There's actually a blade underneath and it blows this stuff, but they've engineered it so it... Um, they blow it in a certain way and that fan can get ten times stronger. And I've been watching, uh, there's a few electric planes that they've got going now, which uh, could be very interesting. And my mum sent me a link. She's going, the electric plane industry could be worth $4 trillion in, uh, by 3034. So if you see any electric plane companies start up, you might want to start investing. But, uh, yeah, very interesting. But Natasha, now, if he's renting your place, then he's in a position of power. So that's probably not a good thing. I wouldn't be running along telling him to get fucked uh, really, like, fast. I'd probably uh, have a good think about that one. But... Uh, it depends on the situation. Someone that wants to see you homeless. Well, yeah, if he's the guy renting to you. Uh, I don't know. Stay out of his way. If he's got nothing to do with you paying the rent, tell him to get fucked. And suck on these bad double Ds. That's what I'll be telling him. Suck on these double Ds, one, mate. He'll probably enjoy it anyway. Arsehole. God. So sick of arseholes. Problem is, everyone's got one. Pay some bikers to pay him a visit. Oh, that's a good one. Who else? Anyone else got some advice for Natasha? Your life's been shit the past few days. The only place you can feel like you belong. Oh. Mitsubishi's got some electric lights. VB's, VB's going all right. Why would somebody want to see another person homeless? Uh, because they're an asshole. That's why. I mean, uh, if the only people I'd like to see homeless is uh, uh, Dan, Dan Andrews, um, Justin Trudeau, the Taliban, uh, Winnie the Pooh Chi Chi from China and um, all the members of the Greens Palachuk yeah Palachuk she's, uh, but she's got a built in house she just uses those big rolls of fat she can just roll over her head like a sleeping bag so she's She's carrying her own home around with her. The Ombudsman. 
That's right, you always attach, uh, go and talk to the Ombudsman. It's funny how it's been really quiet for planes the last... Here comes another virgin coming in. Yeah, I'd need to know a bit more uh, about the situation, yeah, Natasha. That's right, I hear Albo was all for a gas-fired uh, power plant. I was like, well, what about um, nuclear power? See, if the Greenies didn't cook up, kick up such a stink about nuclear power uh, 30, 40 years ago, we'd have it now and we wouldn't be in the position of them whinging, so if they just kept their mouth shut, uh, we'd have clean green energy, except they spent the last 40 years uh, saying, no, don't have it. God, they're idiots. Seriously, they're the dumbest people on the earth, the Greens. They seriously are brainless. We've been telling them all along what we should be doing. No! Wish I could sick you onto some greenies, Hawk. That'd be good. Well, they are rats, aren't they? You should be eating them. Oh, did you know that, um, like the possum that lives in this thing here, we were looking up what the possum's diet is, and they eat, I just thought they eat, like, eats roots and leaves. <laughs> A bit like the old Gringer. Uh, I thought they ate flowers and berries, but it turns out they eat lizards, insects, uh, mice, um, small animals, guinea pigs, rats. I don't think they eat snakes. I think they get eaten by snakes. But they eat like rats and mice and everything, so they're sort of like a cat. They're literally a native cat. And they sort of look very similar, except with, sh well, they got very sharp nails. But uh, very cute animals, and very vicious, violent, and uh, will probably kill you if they ever get the chance. But uh, the one there, he seems quite happy. Paid your rent, you paid your bills. He probably wants to put the rent up. Said the Virgin, Virgin from uh, uh, what's it called? From uh, Sydney. Is that what you said? Paid all your bills. <laughs> oh, Natasha. What time is it over here? It is uh, oh, 6.30. I've got to go. Now I'm going to have to head off, folks. I have this beer though. <sighs> I just paid my tax the other day. You don't want to know how much I had to pay, but it was a shit ton. It was like the most I've ever had to pay. And I'm wasn't very happy. I could have bought a I could have bought a small car for that. Renovated my kitchen. So I mean I wasn't very happy. 
was not happy at all. Bloody tax thieves. What's the government? The government just wastes the money anyway, don't they? God, they shit me. We all hate our governments. Name one good government. I don't know. Stop talking about governments. Right. Boy, it's so humid out there. Let me just turn this on. Ugh. Get the room ready. Go to the bathroom, turn this light on. Oh, it's like a little rose. Isn't that pretty? Keep that shut so. I can hear Finn downstairs talking. Um, anyway. Oh, Natasha again, Natasha. He is a roommate and we all share and pay for the space. And I've lived with awful people before, but why would someone want to see someone else homeless? He's a C word, Natasha. Um, he just seems like a nasty person who's... Um, Who's a who's a C word, and I'd uh, isn't this well? Yeah, it must be tough, you know, like having to need somewhere to live, and if you got nowhere to go and no family you can go and stay with. Oh God. Oh. What about the other people you're living with? I don't... That's a tough one, Natasha. Oh, God, I don't know. He sounds like an absolute prick. And uh, I don't know. Has I hope everyone in the... A big C. Well, you, you could be a big C. Um, yeah, if he's just a, a roommate... Uh, I suppose you could confront him and uh, tell him to get effed. Oh, God. Have you come to say goodbye to everyone? Hey? You liking the aircon up here? Look at this, I got my laundry basket there with my other house pant, other house pants. Rollo is there looking out the window. What are you sniffing? Hey, get your nose out of it. Look at his nose just going. It's like, is there food up here? There's food, isn't there? And I'm missing out. <laughs> Check this. Uh, I got this good calendar here from Campro. <sighs> Free from Campro. It's always good to get something free. Right. Well, um, Natasha, I don't know what to do. If I was there, I would go around, I'd grab him by the collar, I'd and I'd do some of those AFL collar punches. You know how they, they pull you like back and forwards with the shirt? 
but as they're like going inwards, they're hitting you in the jaw. <laughs> they're like, ah, 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 right in the jaw, I'd be doing that. I'd be punching him, uh, kick him in the balls a couple of times. Oh, you've done that. Oh, that's probably why he's kicking you out. Goodness me. <laughs> I'll show you this calendar at some stage. Now, the free one from um, the cat. Airs Rock. I won't go there. Can't even climb it. There's uh, somewhere. It's probably Queensland. Victoria. You can't go there anymore. It's all been locked down. And they, uh, Dan had all those things knocked down because he thought they could uh, carry COVID. Uh, well, that looks nice. That's got to be uh, Western Australia. That one there, uh, that could be South Australia. It looks like a lighthouse, except there's no seals. So it might not be. Uh, this one here, that could be anywhere. Oh, it's snow. Uh, I'm guessing that's Mount uh, Wellington. Uh, I'm saying that's Adelaide because all I can see is churches. Uh, that could be either Queensland. No, it's too small. It could be one of a billion waterfalls in this great country. Uh, that looks like it could be California. Except there's no people pooing everywhere. But it's still a commie shithole. Uh, that's Arizona. Uh, that looks like it could be Cabarita, northern New South Wales. And that's it. There you go. It's the Australian calendar full of international photos. The Twelve Apostles, all four of them. <laughs> that was Niagara Falls. <laughs> anyway, uh, i got to head off. The curry, I better go and check the curry. Get the rice on. Got the missus coming home soon. Soon after a hard day's yakka. But uh, thanks for coming along everyone today and enjoying me and rehydrating with me because it has been a really stinking hot couple of days. But the weather in, over the next few days is cooling down to uh, the like 27 degrees. So it's going to be beautiful weather. Perfect weather. Um. But thanks for coming along today, and we'll see you again uh, next time I'm able to do a live video for you. Cheers, everyone. God bless. <laughs>